there's a chance it might rain. Team India has a good chance of winning. There is a possibility that the train might be delayed. We often say or hear these sentences, right? There are a lot of events in our everyday life where we say that there is a chance it might happen or it might not happen. Now, we can call it chance or possibility or in maths, we use the term probability. Probability helps us to measure this chance. It tells us the chances of an event occurring using numbers. For example, we can say that there is a 50% probability or a 60% probability of something occurring. Have you noticed before a cricket match, the umpire flips a coin and the captains of both the teams choose heads or tails and whosoever wins the toes chooses to bat or bowl, right? Now, once you flip a coin, you might get a tail or a head. And this is a very fair thing, right? Because none of the captains can control the result. When you flip a coin, the result is completely unpredictable. A process or action that produces unpredictable results is called a random experiment. It is an experiment where you know all the possible results in advance. For example, here we know that it could be either of these two, heads or tails, right? We know all the possible results, but we cannot predict which one will occur. Let's take one more example. Let's say you roll a die. Now, once you roll one die, you'll get one, two, three, four, five or six as a result. These results are called outcomes. An outcome is simply the result of an action or experiment. Now, there's another term which we come across very often which is called event. An event is a specific outcome or a set of outcomes from that random experiment. For example, let's take the example of rolling a die. Why rolling a die is a random experiment? Rolling a die and getting a 4 is an event. Similarly, tossing a coin is a random experiment, which can have heads and tails as outcomes. But tossing a coin and getting a head is an event. Let us try to understand event better using this example. Let's take the example of rolling a six-sided die. Now see, this rolling a six-sided die is a random experiment. Now what could be an event? An event could be getting a four, which is one specific outcome. Or rolling an even number on a die. Now it can have a set of outcomes, two, four or six. Similarly, an event could be getting a number greater than two. Again, it has a set of outcomes. Let us come back to our six outcomes of rolling a die or when we toss a coin, we can get two outcomes, heads and tails. Now think about this. When you roll a die, each of the outcomes have an equal chance of occurring, right? Heads and tails also have equal chance of occurring when we toss a coin. In probability, when all the possible outcomes have the same chance of happening, we say that the outcomes are equally likely. That's the term we use. This term equally likely outcomes mean that all the outcomes, all the possible outcomes have equal chance of occurring. Now just imagine if you have a box filled with colored balls. There are four blue balls, three red and three white balls. If I ask you to close your eyes and pick a ball randomly from this box, but we want it to be a blue ball. Now, in this case, the event is choosing a blue ball. Now, if you actually close your eyes and pick a ball and it turns out to be blue, so that means it has worked out in our favor. We wanted a blue ball and we got a blue ball. So we call it a favorable outcome. Favorable outcomes are the outcomes that match the event we are interested in. Picking any of the blue ball, this one, this one, this one or this one is a favorable outcome. So in this case, the number of favorable outcomes is 4. Similarly, there is something called total outcomes. Total outcomes refer to all the possible results of a random experiment. In this case, the total outcomes are 4 blue plus 3 white plus 3 red, 4 plus 3 plus 3, 10. 
right. Now we calculate probability using these two. Probability is actually the ratio of number of favorable outcomes to total number of outcomes. Now in this case the probability of drawing a blue ball from this box would be favorable outcomes are 4, total outcomes are 10. So 4 by 10 or 2 by 5. We can also find this in percentage. Let's multiply it by 100 and we get 40%. So the probability of drawing a blue ball from this box is 40%.